Alrighty guys, it is Quaman here today and I am picking up back where we left off from our Dragon Ball Z Boo's Fury playthrough. I always say Legacy of Goku 2, I always screw it up because I was so used to saying it. So let's continue this adventure where we have to go tell Chi Chi about what's going on. Alright, so let's see here. So Gohan, you're going to enter the World Tournament? D Dad, is that you? Yep, guess what? I'm allowed to come back to Earth for one day. It seems that I have a little credit saved up and they're going to let me come back to fight in the World Martial Arts Tournament. No way, this is great. Be sure to let everyone know I'm coming back. Krillin and Master Roshi are going to want to know and so will Bulma and Vegeta. And don't forget Piccolo. Of course you're going to say Piccolo last. Oh, and make sure you tell your mom and Goten I'm coming back too. They're all going to want to hear. How the hell does Goku even know about Goten? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, mom's gonna freak out and Goten is gonna be so happy. He's never met you Well, Gohan, it's great to hear your voice again. I can't wait to see everyone again. I'll see you at the world tournament Bye dad. You sure are full of surprises. All right. Tell your family and friends that Goku's returning. So I guess uh, the first one to make it fair to the longest distances I will go all the way to Kami's Lookout. Now, honestly, guys, this is kind of like a little side quest. But the way you could actually play this out is you could just tell Chi-Chi and everybody's kind of like just fucked off. Like, it doesn't really matter if you tell the others. Just do it for fun. All right, let me tell Popo. Hello, Gohan. I can't wait to see Goku again. The hell is Popo on this uh, game? Question mark, question mark. Mr. Popo is Dende's right-hand man. He has lived on Kami's Lookout for countless ages. Alright, so they don't put his power on here. Oh shit, it's Piccolo. Gotta show him some respect. Alright, it's Piccolo. There's Dende. Dende is the guardian of the earth and an alien from the planet Namek. Let's see Piccolo. Once an evil villain, Piccolo has seen the error of his ways and is now one of Earth's greatest heroes. Piccolo is an alien from the planet Namek even though he wasn't even born there. Alright, so let's talk to him. If Goku is entering the tournament, it should be a tournament to remember. I'll enter. Sounds like a lot of fun. But please tell me you're not gonna wear that Saiyan Man outfit to the tournament, Gohan. It looks ridiculous. <laughs> I would go to the tournament, but fighting isn't my thing. I'm more into healing people, even though I didn't think about going to the Supreme Kai planet to heal Goku instead of wasting a dragon's wish. Alright. Yeah. Alright, let's see here. The hell is everything else? Uh, I guess there's nothing else to really see here. I mean, I guess I could tell Corrin, right? Is there a way? Uh, I guess I can't go down there right now then, I guess. So I'll just get the hell out of here. All right, so speed up, go down here. Let's go to West City, tell everybody about the tournament. All right, let's speed this up a little bit. Make it a little bit faster for you guys so I don't waste your time. All right, let's go in here. All right, there's Bulma. Look at Trunks. And Vegeta. Look at Vegeta. <laughs> ah, let me scan him. 335. Vegeta was the prince of the planet Vegeta before he was destroyed by Frieza. Although he was once a villain, he usually fights for the Z Fighters now. Trunks. Trunks is the son of Vegeta and Bulma. Despite his young age, he's one of the most powerful fighters in the universe. And I think I already had Bulma. But I'm just going to get her just in case. Okay. Okay, we got Bulma. Alright, so let me tell Bulma. Goku's coming back? That's great. Too bad he couldn't come back permanently, even though he will. Look at Trunks. Your dad is going to fight the world tournament too? That's so cool. If Kakarot is coming back to fight in the world tournament, I'm entering too. Finally, I'll have another chance to defeat him. <laughs> Alright. If you look at this, like, if you guys notice, like, the little animations, like, Trunks is walking around a lot more than the others. Like, Vegeta's just standing there, and Trunks is, like, walking all over the place. I kind of like how they use the algorithms to, like, make certain characters walk in different patterns. Like, they make him walk a lot more childish than, uh, Vegeta and Bulma. Alright, so, now I gotta tell Roshi and Krillin. So, let's do that. Speed this up. Alright. Alright, let's see here, Kame House, let's fly over there. Alright. Who the hell is this? The fuck is this? 
Oh, I remember now. You could just randomly drop on, like, uh, submarines and airships on this game. I forgot about that. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Oh, fuck. I remember this song, bro. This is awesome. This brings back so many childish memories when I used to stay up all night playing this on my Game Boy Advance SP. Alright, so now it's on to Easter Strike 439. Oh, fuck. I forgot Roshi. I completely forgot the reason I was flying south was to go see Roshi. Silly Kwa, man. All right, there we go. Roshi's house. All right. All right, here we go. Um. The heck is here? Um. I don't want to go fishing right now. No need for sensu beans. As a matter of fact, I found a... One of you guys was telling me on one of the previous episodes that a glitch to, like get like a bunch of sensu beans is to like uh do something like at the tournament with videl if you guys remember what you guys told me you guys told me this glitch how to get like an insane amount of sensu beans you said to like eat the sensu bean or something like that remind me in the comment section please all right let's see marin if mommy and daddy fight in the tournament i want to watch them what no way goku's going to compete i don't believe it but i don't want to compete that's why I let my hair grow back. I'm a family man now. Look at 18. <laughs> There's a lot of prize money involved in this competition, isn't there? I think I'm going to enter. And I'm going to make Krillin enter too. We need the money. I'm tired of living with this lecherous old cool. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, once Dr. Droll's evil android, she has now changed her ways and fights for the good guys. She is married to Krillin. Krillin is Go uh, is an old friend of Goku's. They train together under Master Roshi. Krillin is married to 18. And Marin. Marin is the daughter of Krillin and Android 18. Okay. Master Roshi. Master Roshi is a marsh master of martial arts who trained Goku and Krillin. He is also known for the as the Eternal Hermit. Alright. Alright, let's see here. Well, will wonders never cease. Hey, maybe I should enter the tournament too. What do you think? Actually, maybe that's not a very good idea. <laughs> I want you guys to tell me in the comment section below what you think of my uh, Master Roshi impression. Alright. Let's go in here. Uh, where's Oolong and... uh? Yeah, where's Oolong and uh, Turtle? They should be here somewhere. Guess not. Hmm. Where's Oolong? Oolong's always with Master Roshi. Guess he's not here on this island. Maybe he's somewhere else. I don't know. I remember Oolong was always with him. Oh, well. All right. So we got their reactions. Let's go home. All right. So back to East District 439. All right. Let's see what that we do in here. Here we go. Oh my goodness, I hardly know what to think. Your father is really coming home. And you get to meet your daddy, Goten. Isn't that wonderful? This is too good to be true. By the way, since dad's competing in the world tournament, can I compete as well? I'd like your permission to enter the world tournament and to miss some school so I can train. Are you serious? You've got to be kidding. You know that your studies take priority over everything else. But mom, dad's only going to be here for t for a day. I'll never get this chance again. And the winner gets paid 10 million zenny. If I win, it'll be like getting a big scholarship. 10 million zenny? Holy cow, you could get a PhD with those kind of bucks. My son, the PhD. Of course you can compete, Gohan. Of course you can. You see what I mean, guys? Money fucks everything up. As soon as you put money into something, guys, people will do shit. It's just the way life is. <laughs> All right, let's see. Gohan, what's dad like? He's an amazing man. When you're around him, you just feel happy inside. I can't wait to meet him. Hey, Gohan? Yeah, it's Goten. Can I help you train? Sure, I'm going to need a really strong training partner, and you'll be perfect. All right. Let's see here. 
Baba, this is quite unusual. It's not every day that someone is allowed to return back to the world of the living. It's already discussed and with the Grand Kai he approves. Seriously, Yama, if anyone deserves it, it's Goku. Very well. Goku, you are aware of the conditions. Conditions? Yes. Goku, you will only get 24 hours to stay in the living world. That's all I can do. Oh, I see. But 24 hours is better than nothing. Well, looks like all this paperwork is in order. You're free to go. Thanks, King Yama. Tank Boy! Tank Boy! Tank Boy! Ouch! What are you yelling at me for? Listen, pal, what do you think you're doing? This machine, this is a machine that cleanses the souls condemned to HFIL, also known as hell. This isn't a game. Next time I catch you goofing off like this, I'm going to report you to King Yemma. You'll probably dock your pay or worse. Dock my pay? Well, my pay is already pathetic as it is. Then you better shape up, tough guy. Look at these tanks. They're filthy. <laughs> I don't know what his problem is. I do my job just fine. What was that? It sounded like the soul cleansing machine exploded. You're kidding me. I heard the explosion. What's going on here? It was the soul cleansing machine. It's a machine that cleanses evil spirits before they're sent to hell. Hate to imagine what that could have been let loose. This could be terrible repercussions for both the other world and the world of the living. Pycon, will you go check it out for me? Of course, sir. I'll take care of it right away. I hope you will for all our sakes. Ja Namba. Holy shit. So they do like two things at once. That's pretty cool. Alright, so chapter three starts the world tournament. Okay. Thanks for letting me train with you, Gohan. I promise I won't get in your way. I'm going to go out in the forest to the east of here. You should meet me there. I bet I can beat you there. All right. Meet, Go meet Goten in the eastern forest. All right, so let's go do that. Let's just check up on Chi-Chi to see what the hell she's doing. I don't know if she's cooking or something because she immediately just went in here. All right, let's see. Hmm. My <laughs> All right. So let's get this party started, guys. Looks like we're nearing the end of this uh, video, so might as well do some training with Goten in the meantime. Now, I always find it funny, like, how the hell did, like, these guys just, like, just randomly sitting here in, like, the middle of nowhere? Because Gohan literally lives, like, so far from society. It's kind of funny how these guys are just sitting out in the middle of the woods, just causing trouble. <laughs> Alright. Crap. Need to get some more experience to get full health. I'm almost there. That's like the Gohan theme song. I remember they played that in the Funimation dub when he was turning Super Saiyan 2. It's like, like a deviant of that song. Alright. Um. All right, so we're good with experience. So I think it's up here. There we go. 65. Gohan needs to be a higher level to open this gate. Are you kidding me? You've got to be kidding me, guys. Well, I guess... I don't know. I guess that's a sign that... <laughs> that's probably a good time to end this video. I'm gonna go train off screen, guys. And I pretty much think that that's gonna be a good amount of... Uh, time to, like, save up for the next episode preview. Considering the fact that the World Tournament is already pretty much starting anyway. So we're already going into a new saga. So there's no need to overdo one episode over and over. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my Legacy of Goku 2 playthrough, and this is part 2, so if you're watching this, obviously you probably didn't care about watching part 1, or you just want to watch what I did in this episode, so please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and remember as I always say to have a great day guys, and stay tuned for next week Friday.